Welcome back to the shop. Um, you know, I'm just going to show a, a real simple video on uh, more jig grinders. How to, if you're if you're grinding a taper in a bore, how to adjust that out. Um, I am by no means a jig grinder operator or a surface grinder or a machinist. I what I do is I repair machines for a living, but you know, I do make parts for machines that I'm repairing. That's why I have a machine shop, you know. And uh, I'm just, I'm a repair guy. I'm not a machinist. So, uh, I will show you a little bit of the shop. Um, so, this is the Morjig grinder. This is the 1960 More Number 2. And I do grinding as well. You know, this is a Okamoto 12 by 24. That's a set of parallels that I'm grinding. Uh, they will be square and parallel on any any edge you set them down on. And uh, my machines, my machines are pretty much. <laughs> my shop is dirty. I gotta. I I use my machines so. That's a that's my bridge port. I've got an arbor press. I've got a little closing lathe, and I got a uh, another bigger closing with a variable speed. And uh, like I say, the shop is dirty. And this is a nice little uh, shaper. It's a Delta Milwaukee, I believe, that I picked up. Um, cool little machine I don't have it hooked up yet so this is my dirty shop I've got a bunch of camelbacks here that need to be scraped drill presses old cut saw but anyway back to the jig grinder um, on this jig grinder they're up on top um, there is uh if i turn this you're gonna you're gonna see this guy right here this this is how you grind a taper set up to grind a taper and if it's on zero you shouldn't be grinding a taper and you can adjust the taper out with this or put it in so this line right here that's to make the top smaller the the bottom of the bore bigger and this is the opposite way and what you do to adjust that you would put loosen these set screws up there's two of them one on each side and this when I turn this back around this is the grind position so this is at the front you can tilt this uh, oscillating spindle and it's got grind side so what you want to do is set your indicator up. Um, you need you need a just a master or some kind of bore that you know is true, and that says grind side. So that's where you want your indicator set up. So the first thing you do is you can set this to zero. If if you're just but if you're just checking it to if you're grinding taper and you want to adjust it out, uh, this is how you do it. You loosen up these set screws here and you turn this you turn this ring right here until this is on zero you know and you want the oscillating head up so right now this this is all the way up and this handle here the head is down so that my indicator is reading zero well, it's not reading zero right now. So, I make this zero. And then, and I already trammed this in. So this is, this is trammed in front to back, you know, but you really don't need it perfect. Well, that didn't even repeat, just moving it. My, my setup's not very rigid. But I will go ahead and do this. So the head is up. 
the oscillating head is all the way up and that the whole thing is down. So that's set on zero. So, and the, the brake is, uh, the, the clamp is locked. So I loosen the clamp. I raise this up three inches. And there is <clears throat> a scale here. And this does have counterweights. So I'm gonna go up. They say three inches in the, in the instructions you know the paperwork that tells how to set this taper so that's that's about three and a half I'm gonna go right there and my indicators out of that then I'm gonna lock it back up with that clamp and then what I'm gonna do I'll probably have to put this uh, the phone down for just a second now I want to lower the oscillating head down into my bore and those zeros should match up and if they don't, then you adjust up there at the top where I just showed you. So let me try and set this phone down. So now I'm going to lower this down into my bore. And so it's that's showing four tenths off from where I was so yeah so that's that's what you want to do um, with this head up the oscillating head up and the 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 slide down set zero on a on a bore on, on something true and then raise a, the whole slide up and then drop your quill or your oscillating head down and see what you get on a master like this and like I said my this is a little bit a little bit temperamental right here I need to tighten up the screws on my more dog leg but that's how you do it and I think that might help Steve Barton I'm hoping he can adjust uh, the taper out of that jig grinder that he has. And uh, then he can show me how to run a... Then he can tell me how to run a jig grinder. I know, you know, it's just learning the setups. I know what all the dot knobs do and the buttons, how to turn it on and how to rebuild. I've rebuilt the little uh, facing head. I've rebuilt the micrometer adjustment. I've rebuilt the spindles on these, the packing seals. I've done probably a half a dozen machines, and I've also rebuilt the, what was it? Uh, I've, I've replaced, there's a, a kit, so you don't have, uh, it's a motor. They're, they make uh, for more number two and three, and the G18s, which are all basically the same there's a motor kit that you can replace the cable drive. So I have worked on these, but I'm not a jig grinder. <laughs> and so anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope that helps people with uh, jig grinders. All right, thanks.